Hello football coaches and football players, my name is Football Coach Allen and today I'm going to talk to you about the 1-3-3 zone defense in 7-on-7 seven seven flag football. So hello everyone, my name is Alan from Football Coach Allen and on this channel I show you football plays, drills and skills. So if you like that stuff, hit that like button and subscribe. And if I ever make a mistake in this video or on this channel about saying Basketball Coach Allen, that's my other channel. It's got a ton of subscribers, so if you're a basketball coach or player, go check that out as well. But anyways, today I'm going to talk to you about the 1-3-3 zone defense. So zone defenses are great in, in flag football because you don't have to run as much as you would normally in a man-to-man -man defense. So let's get down to the clipboard and let's check out these football plays. So here we have the red in defense, the blue in offense, and this is the balanced offense. And what we are going to have is basically the zone, like it's going to be pretty much all the way through this whole video. These guys are guarding their zones. If there's a player who's in their area who is going to be receiving the football, definitely go and stop that from happening. But we're going to have player one. He is the one who is going to be going after the quarterback. Either he goes after the quarterback or what can happen is if it's a non blocking league which means that player one can't just go straight after him what's going to happen is if player one the quarterback goes over here player one is also going to go over there and once player one passes that line of scrimmage player one is able to go and hopefully get his flags so now against a bunch offense what we're going to do either like this or like this whoops and uh, basically what we're going to do is have player seven playing in a, in a zone over here player three is going to play a zone here now player two, what I personally get him to do is if any one of these three players cross into his zone or even go over into a little bit into player three's zone, I'm going to be having player two, uh, let's draw these guys' zones out again, uh, we're going to have player two kind of have more into those zones there. And then we're going to have player four guarding this whole area over here and player six and five guarding like so player one is obviously going after the quarterback as well but the reason why I have a little bit of an overlap here in this area is or a little bit more of an overlap is because we have three players over here and a lot of the times these three players are going to be gathering up in these zones to try and beat these zones because multiple players in the same zone is able to be having a player open a lot easier. Now against a heavy type of offense in 7-on-7, seven seven, we would have the zone stretch out just a bit more where we would have player 3 guarding this corner, player 7 guarding here, and then obviously there's zones being covered out there. But we're going to have player 1 still watching the quarterback, but we're not going to worry too much about this area because especially if it's in a non-blocking league, player 1 is still going to be covering in that zone anyways. So that's why I have a little bit more heavier zone presence on this side, also because while well, there are 4 offensive players over in that side, so that is also something to keep in mind. Now I hope that these zone, oh, this zone defense helps your team. If it does, let us know in the comments below. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, the button's up here somewhere. Over here is a suggested video by YouTube themselves. If you have enjoyed this video, go check those out. And I'll see you guys again in our next video. So yeah, I'll see you guys there. Go check out Basketball Coach Allen. And yeah, see you guys. I hope you enjoy.